What's up, y'all? Back with another Magnus Answers. All right. Now, it says, it's titled, I Need Help. I'm not racist, but... <laughs> Hi, I'm a 16-year-old white guy. Most of my friends are black, and I'm more tolerant with them. I'm more than tolerant with them. Whatever that means. Uh, <laughs> they're some of my closest friends, and I get along with them more than I get along with my white friends. However... I've never had a girlfriend before. Sadly, pathetic at 16, right? No, it's not pathetic. Don't worry about it. I didn't get my first girl until I was 18. And she was one of the baddest girls around at that time. And dudes was always like, how the fuck did you pull that off? So don't worry about it, man. All right. Um, anyways, I've never had a girlfriend. And um, there's this frivolous thought in my head that black people will steal all of the white women. <laughs> Whenever I see a girl I'm interested in, I feel like I'm not good enough. I promise you I'm not racist. I just need to overcome this, but I'm not sure how, thanks. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you're going through. You're being insecure now. You're being insecure because of what you're seeing on TV. I've said this in a few of my videos and I'm just gonna keep saying it every time something like this comes up, okay? Only 9% of black people date outside their race, okay? 9%. That includes men and women, okay? Not to mean black women date outside the race. So the rest would be men, okay? 9% of us. The majority of black men are dating their own color. The majority of white people also only date their own color. I think, I think, don't quote me, but I think it's only like 3% of white people date outside of their race. Three! So if you see a white girl you like, you still got a better chance of getting her than I do. Or any other black dude out there, you do, because you're white. She's already grown up and seen men in her culture that are portrayed as attractive as being white. That's how it is. Yes, I know there's Spanish men and you know uh, black men and other people out there that are considered beautiful, but ain't nobody prettier than Brad Pitt. George Clooney in this American culture ain't nobody prettier than them, right? Okay then. Same thing with your women, Angelina Jolie and uh, what's Brad Pitt's ex? What's her name? Oh, so like a, an, yeah, Aniston, you know, and Jeffrey Aniston. You know all these. It's always somebody white, right? <laughs> Look, <laughs> trust me, you're really overthinking this. What you're thinking about? Is this whole fad going on with black the black man's sexuality? Okay, are we sexy creatures? Yeah. <laughs> Do we got swag? Yeah. Do we got all that? Do we know how to talk to women? Do we know how to walk? Do we smell good? Are we built good? Do we dress fine? That's true. But it don't mean that white men can't can't have the same qualities. Oh, we got big dicks too. But yeah, I'm saying that don't mean that you can't have a big wee wee. Or, or walk cool. Such a mouth said I'm trying to talk seriously to this young man. You said wee wee, that's not <laughs> That don't mean you can't have all these good qualities that men, women want. Women love good stimulating conversation. They like a nice smile, nice body, body intelligent man with a sense of humor, a man that, that they feel can protect them, and they like a man going somewhere. Come on, man. You can do all of that. That ain't really hard to do. You will be fine and you're only 16. You, yo, I'm 35, trust me. You have so much more to do and learn about life. You're probably gonna look back at this, this whole thing and be like, what was I thinking back then? Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. Only 9% of us are dating what, 3% of white pe people, okay? So, yeah, that gives you an idea. Don't worry about it, you will be fine. Go after every single girl you're interested in because you might not get another chance. Because if you, whatever you fear, really, really, really fear, it's gonna happen. That's just the way it is, you know what I mean? You're gonna attract that in your life. You're gonna see a girl and be like, ah, oh, she probably wants uh, one of the black dudes in the high school, and you're gonna procrastinate, 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 never ask her out, and then you're gonna see her with a black dude. Because you know what? The black dude said, hey, I think she'll date a black guy, but she still likes white guys too. So he asked her out, 
he ends up going out with her. Now you asked out because you didn't ask first. Okay? Maybe she's an equal opportunity employer. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't even worry about it. You're going to be fine, all right? So I hope I answered your questions. If you got any more, make sure you, you know, write me, inbox me, whatever, all right? Talk to you later.